Hi friends, in this video I am going to demonstrate my BTEC Fine Layer project Digital Menu Card for Restaurant and Food Ordering System using QR Code Scanning. This system will provide a systematic and quick delivery of services to the customers without waiting for a waiter in the restaurant. This project is developed with the Django Web Framework and the Python is at the back end. In this project we have a QR code in each of the tables in the restaurant. In order to get the details of the food stuff, you just scan the QR code. This is our QR code and it's made up with JavaScript and jQuery. And after scanning the QR code, we get entered into this web page. In order to order the food item, you have to log in. You can log in either by Facebook or Google or you can sign up. This is Django's in the built-in sign up module. So it's only accept a strong username and password. We have to log in with our Google account and majority of the people in the world have either a Facebook or Google account. Now I am going to log in with my Google account. After login, we can add our food items into cart. Okay, successfully logged in. Now we can see the price and description of the food items and we can rate from here the food items and we can see the rating status here each account can rate uh, at most once a uh, food items and this is the add to cart button next we can see a making video for the food items i'm not adding the making video for these food items and we can see a comment module we can see few comments and uh, let's add a comment it's a tasty dish and click on the comment button and let's check our comment is working or not yes it's it will display it on the bottom also it displays the date and time and next we have to add the food items into cart pizza is added to the cart and click on the cart button we can see the added pizza we can improve the quantity by clicking the plus sign. The pizza is updated. Pizza is toys now. Continue shopping. And let's add one more item. Orange juice. Click on the orange juice. And we can write here. Click in the star. And we can see the making video. People can watch the making video of the food item they want to eat. And we can add once more. We can comment in any language. You can see. Okay, let's add to cart. Orange juice is added. Let's add one more item. Add to cart. Click on the cart button. Add one more times. Okay. Uh, now let's check the remove function. Remove the orange juice as orange juice is successfully removed and remove once more remove chocolate shake ok removed we can empty the cart by clicking the empty cart uh, it will emptying all the items in the cart and uh, now the cart is empty there is no items in the cart and go to home and add once more one more time pizza is added Pizza is successfully added and for adding the further items into the cart I will show you a small field search and we can search using the food items names click on the search burger is displayed click on burger add to cart and burger is added to the cart one more time uh, we can search juice juice search and it will display all the uh, juices and we can also search using the price limits and we can search the food items between 0 and 15 search it will display all the items between 0 and 15 and one more time we can search the food items between 15 and 100 search and it will display all the items between 15 and 100 okay uh, now click on the about button 
and it will display all the details about the restaurant and at the bottom we can see a location and view on the google map we can share the location to our friends and relatives for visiting the restaurant and click on the home button carts and we have two items in the cart pizza and burger proceed to check out and here we can submit the table number the table number is between 1 to 20 and we can enter a number between this we can enter 10 submit the table number table number is successfully submitted and it will also displays a add-on showing the restaurant office proceed to check out and it will show the bill pizza of one and burger of one and it is also have an empty column for GST and not currently adding the GST and the total of 150 proceed to check out and this page displays the payment option we can use the pay with cards and here I am use stripe payment and uh, enter the gmail id of the stripe account and this is of course a test mode and enter the visa code number 424242 and after that the validity date and validity date is this date the current date and pay 150 rupees and the green light indicates it is success and it will redirect into another page my order page and thank you for your orders and click on the my orders and we can see the order list the usage order list home page and click on the cream bun add to the cart the cream bun is added to the cart Let's check our cart and the cream bun is only updated 20 rupees. Proceed to check out and enter a table number. Okay, three. Table number three submitting. Proceed to check out. Proceed to check out. And before choosing our payment module, we have to analyze how the internal working of this system. So log into the, our admin panel, type the username and password, login, oh, it's a verification error, uh, that means the two system, two accounts are currently active within one system, that's a problem, okay, submit again, login, password, okay, it's fine, we can see all the database tables are listed in the admin panel. We have to go to the our order table to see our two orders. Here we can see our two orders. We can go to our first order, one of pizza and one of burger. Okay, oh, one more time. Sorry. Okay, we can see the our ordered items are highlighted here, and we can see the username and the order icon and. Uh, table number and uh, okay wow well, we can choose our second order sorry uh, this is our second order one of uh, cream bun here the we can see that there is no tick mark in the order icon that means it is not uh, choosing the payment option let's choose okay Let's login again in the admin panel. Admin, username, and password. Login. Go to our order table and click on the second order. Uh, we can see now a tick mark here. That means the customer choose the payment and it is ready for delivery here we can see a number of database tables are listed here the restaurant operators can use these tables for streamlining the activities inside a restaurant and let's choose the user this is a user module 
we can see all the users and uh, let's click on one of the user uh, we can see the username and password inside there and we can see the date and time of login and sign up time and go to our home page and let's uh, choose the category module here we can we have four categories we can add the further category by clicking on the add category and here we can add new categories and uh, let's go to our product and uh, this is our product module and here we can see all the product items are currently listed we can add a uh, new products by choosing the file we can add uh, an image for our new product uh, let's add a coffee okay and uh, enter the coffee the name of the product and enter a slug uh, same as coffee and after that we have to choose uh, the category as drinks and we have to enter something some test for previewing uh, it will display on the description write something coffee is uh, very good for our health and uh, it will and it motivate activities write something about the item and let's copy and paste it on the below table and add a price for this product let's add at around 25 rupees for this i'm not currently choosing the making video click on the save button and it will add the food items into the product tables and similarly the restaurant administrators can add the categories and the food items into their website home page without the help of a developer and uh, it will load yes the coffee is listed in the product items let's go to our website home page and go to our drink slide here we can see the coffee is listed it's loading the coffee is displayed and click on the coffee and we can write the coffee and add the coffee to cart click on the cart button and proceed to checkout proceed to checkout again proceed to checkout and choose a payment option cash on delivery my orders and here we can display the order list we are currently signing as admin and let's go to our stripe account for seeing the stripe payment go to stripe account uh, let's refresh we have a previous 150 rupees stripe payment let's check that payment information yes our 150 rupees is successfully added in our stripe account and if you want to active our account click on the active your account and it will display a list of items and we have to fill all these items in order to active our stripe account and we have to fill our nationality pan card and our account details and submit the application finally we host our website using the heroku app a free domain and we use amazon s3 buckets for storage purpose and that's all thank you for watching keep supporting